There was no better friend than Jed David Seitao. He was very kind and sweet. Incredibly charismatic. He was able to kind of hone in on what was funny about something. There is no one who yelled louder for his teammates. Yeah, when he left for college, it was really exciting. I was very close to him, and I always felt I understood him. But I'm sure there were a lot of things that, looking back, were clues that I, I didn't see as, as clues as a parent. I think that if I could, if I could go back, that's, I wish I could go back. Um, After Jed passed away... The only thing that seemed important to me was to try to figure out what happened. There was a zero awareness, at least on our part. What had broken down and what needed to change in the system? What is depression in, in a young person? How, how does it look? What can a university president be doing to set policies and, I like to think, place a safety net under their campus? I didn't know any other reason to start the Jed Foundation, or for it to exist, than to try to make sure that this doesn't happen anymore. Now I, I just couldn't be prouder, and I see really all the positive impacts that we're having across so many different schools, millions of different kids that are being touched by these messages and these programs. I work for the Jed Foundation because my sister, who battled with depression and anxiety and had several bouts of suicide ideation and attempts, she passed away when she was 24 years old. I've made it my mission to really go out and try my best to work with young adults and teens to prevent more instances like this from happening. So many people deal with this issue and face this issue. And that's why it's so important that we all band together into a community of caring that surrounds young people so that when they are struggling, they're recognized, they're connected with, and they're able to get the help they need. So when I think of the idea of a safety net, I really think about not only the policies and systems at a school or in a community, but also the people, the friends, the family, the teachers, the administrators, the professors who are around a young person. And how can we make sure that all of those people who care about the teens and young adults in our country are working together to provide people with the supports and systems that they need to thrive and be healthy? We know that Jed is very important in terms of helping young adults feel more comfortable talking to each other about mental health issues, helping them to feel comfortable reaching out to friends if friends are struggling. They want a place, a venue to talk about these experiences. They don't want to be silenced. They don't want to be encouraged to be secretive. This is a generation that's very real and very honest about how they feel and what they want. You have to tap into the students in order to know what they're going through and what they're dealing with. I think one of the ways that we really see students being impacted comes from the national movement of JED. And a student oftentimes will look at what JED is doing at one of the campuses we work with, and they're inspired, they are impacted, to the point that they are writing us letters, they're writing letters to the president of their university, asking them to bring JED campus to their institution. Sometimes administrations are more likely to respond if students say, hey, we want the Judd Foundation here as well. Look at the great work that they're doing. We could have this here as well on our campus and it's, it could be a driving force. At Jed, we realize that there is no one-size-fits-all to serving students. Everyone needs help in terms of mental health resources.
One thing I want people to know about the work that I do at JED is the impact that we're having. We're reaching millions of young people and the families, teachers, and communities that surround them. I work at the JED Foundation because I think that life is worth fighting for. Everyone has a purpose. They deserve to be here, and I think if we at the Judd Foundation can make a difference in someone's life, then that's um, just truly the most important thing.